Harry last week on Friday, January the 20th, was spotted with his childhood friend, Nicky Scott, who featured extensively in the Royals' bombshell Netflix series, amid fierce backlash over Spare. Harry was photographed alongside Scott as they spent hours together at the botanical garden Ganawalska Lotus Land that is touted to be one of the best gardens in the world, as per Hello magazine. The two friends were seen dressed for winter, with Prince Harry rocking a blue puffer jacket and grey trousers, with a hat to tie his look, and Scott wearing a grey jacket with jeans and sunglasses on his head. Both Scott and Prince Harry also carried flasks in their hands, with the Duke of Sussex also carrying three books amid reports that he himself has signed a four-book deal with publishers Penguin Random House. The sighting comes as the world continues to recoil from Prince Harry's explosive revelations about the British royal family in his incendiary book Spare, which has managed to emerge as the biggest success in recent publication history after selling 1.4 million copies on the first day of release. As for Scott, he was seen in Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle's Netflix show, Harry and Meghan. He first met the royals when they were 13. However, someone has pointed out that the photo allegedly taken on Friday of Harry and friend Nicky Scott at the Ganawalska Lotus Land was taken months ago, or elsewhere. Ganawalska Lotus Land is closed from mid-November through to mid-February. Why is someone planting this misinformation? Nicky had to fly out to California to film his bit for the Netflix series, which was pretty brief and looked like it was all shot on the same day. This could have been in the fall before the gardens closed for the season. The books could be Christmas presents, even if Harry could wrangle a special favour to walk around the garden off-season. They wouldn't likely open the gift shop. That requires actual staff who can use sales registers, which would be shut down off-season. If Nicky was such a close dear friend of Harold's, why did he not allow his last name to be shown on the lower third name overlay for the series? It just said Nicky, Harry's childhood friend. Every single other interviewee shows their surname, all but just Nicky. Why was just Nicky the only friend of H's from England to appear on screen? Nicky only talks about meeting Harry as a teenager and how they had a room next to each other at Eton. No talk about any time spent outside of Eton. How close is Harry really to just Nicky? Why is he the only stooge dumb enough to set himself up for a markling? What's in it for Nicky? Citizen detectives? One royal fan speculated that Nicky Scott was down months ago hanging around Harry simply to do the interview and help out with being Harry's sole friend, vouching for him in the Netflix documentary. Despite this happening months ago, Harry and or Meghan have dragged it out again and supplied fake details to combat some of Harry's former friends starting to let loose in the media about Harry being a playboy. Harry and Meghan are trying to say here that Harry has other friends and actual friends now despite betraying everyone he used to know in his book. Meghan is certainly back on the publicity wagon with the amount of fawning articles for the book, or maybe it's Harry paying for it this time.